The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the EFCC, ought not to exist in the first place, as it is doing the same job as a police special fraud unit. Well, this is a submission of the former president of the Nigerian Bar Association, Olista Agbakoba, SEN, during a press briefing in Lagos. Our correspondent, Love Ikuku Oyedeku, now reports. The press briefing harped on the level of corruption and the fight against the hydra-headed crime. Agbakoba took a swipe on the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, arguing that since the commission is a creation of the National Assembly, it does not have the powers to interfere with activities of state governments. Agbakoba insisted that the EFCC is currently operating outside the Constitution. Whoever wrote this Constitution designed it for Nigeria to fail. Whoever wrote it. Because it's, it, on the one hand, it, it seems to authorize the EFCC to interfere in state affairs, on the one hand. On the other hand, it does not. Then there are cases decided by the Supreme Court in which they say federalism means two autonomous and independent governments. Now, if that is correct, then the EFCC has no right to go to the state's uh, public account to say, we want to prove it, because they have no power. The human rights lawyer, however, said that he was not against the commission, but to correct the anomalies of his workings. It's possible that even the EFCC doesn't understand exactly the nature of their powers. So I'm going to make an offer to the chairman of the EFCC that I had initially spoken about going to court, but in the course of my research for the case, I can see why you might be making mistakes. So I'm ready to have a dialogue. Let us have a dialogue so as to understand exactly what the position is. Because the confusion caused by the Constitution is enormous. And I can see why they might be getting things wrong. If Mr. Bauer takes me up on that, then that's the end. The former NBA president had last year, December, lambasted the EFCC over its recent actions against the Kogi state's government. Agbakoba maintained that the EFCC lacks the understanding of the law establishing it, noting that the 1999 constitution is structurally defective. Love Ikuku Oyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.